Yes. So let us learn the properties of amino acids. So when I go with the properties of amino acids, we've already seen the structure of amino acid. Let us see, write it once again. Amino acid basically has a carbon <coughs> with four tetravalency. On one end we have an amino group, one end we have a carboxylic group separated by this carbon hence called alpha carbon or alpha amino acid. On one end you have hydrogen atom and one an alkyl group. Now let us see what happens when this amino acid is dissolved in aqueous solution. Correct? So I am going to take this amino acid and I am going to dissolve this in water. That means when it is dissolved in aqueous solution what happens is the proton of the carboxylic group shifts to okay this is your amino group here the proton of the carboxylic group shifts to this amino group yes yeah how does this amino acid look now it looks like this r c your hydrogen is still here and your it has accepted one proton so this becomes nh3 plus and what will happen to this this becomes co minus yeah now what just again in aqueous solution, the proton from the acid is going to shift to the base. That is your amino group. So what happens? This becomes because it has accepted one NH3 from NH2. It has become NH3 plus, and this is lost. It has become CO minus. Now, what are you what are you finding in this molecule? This molecule has two charges. Both the poles are there. Correct. This is called a dipolar ion, or the other name given to this is Zwitter ion. Zwitter. Ion. So, if your board is asking you to define Zwitter ion, just write Zwitter ion is a dipolar ion or a neutral molecule. Why is it neutral? Because it has both positive and negative charge. So, uh, <coughs> Zwitter ion is a dipolar ion or a neutral molecule where it possesses both the positive and the negative charge in the same molecule. Both positive and negative. So, I think you can write the definition. Zwitter means neutral molecule. Because it has both positive and negative present in the same molecule. Now, if I take this Zwitter ion, fine. So, there are two conditions. Now, what am I going to do? I am going to increase the pH of this. Now, I said it is a neutral molecule. So, what am I going to do? First, I am going to take this in an acidic medium. In an acidic medium. I am going to H plus. Acidic medium is H plus. So, when I am going to take this Zwitter ion in an acidic medium, so how does the structure look like? Let me erase this. The structure looks like now your R is here only, your carbon is here, right? NH3 plus is here, and your this one, and this H plus goes in attacks here. Why not here? Positive and positive, no cation and your anion. So, this becomes this. So now what is the overall charge on this? The overall charge is positive, correct? So the overall charge is positive, right? That means which electrode will it go? Cation, it's a cation overall charge, is cation. So when I take this amino acid, it's a process called electrophoresis, which you've studied in your surface chemistry. So electro electrophoresis, what happens? It goes to the, the opposite electrode. So this is your positive ion, it goes to cathode goes to cathode electrode yes now when i take this amino acid or when i increase further the ph means i'm going to the basic ph basic medium i'm going to introduce or it's i'm taking this amino acid in your basic solutions when i take it in the basic solution just observe carefully yeah <clears throat> the hydrogen from amino group listen carefully in the basic solutions the hydrogen from the amino group and the oh from here comes out as water yes so this h plus and this oh comes out as water what else is left now i have r here i have carbon here i have hydrogen here i have coo minus like that only and this has lost one proton and this becomes nh2 now, what is the overall charge on that particular thing? It is negative. Here it is positive, so it is cation. Here it is negative, so it is anion. So, in the electrophoresis, where will it go? When cation goes to cathode electrode, anion goes to your anode electrode. Anode electrode. Now, observe carefully. First, I have taken your amino acid, I have dissolved it in aqueous solution. Then there is a shift or transfer of one proton from carboxylic group to the amino group. And that particular ion, the dipolar ion is called Zwitter ion. 
this vitreon suppose if i have to further see its behavior if i am introducing it in or i'm maintaining the ph of uh, acidic ph means uh, <coughs> your lower ph uh, in the ph scale if i'm maintaining uh, the acidic ph value or acidic acidic conditions in that immediately the such plus goes in tax carboxylic group cation anion i overall see when i overall see or test it i get a cation correct so that means cation when i have to separate the amino acid if i go with the electrophoresis process electrophoresis means mobility using electricity yes mobile electro means current phoresis means mobility so you uh, depending on the charges they go to the respective electrodes yes so we try to like uh, the, it's a different procedure where we use ninhydrin for separating this this is not the normal uh, electrophoresis so you'll be doing this in i have done this in my masters <laughs> separation of amino acids okay fine so this particular amino acid now what did what did it happen it has become positive cation so this goes to cathode electron now when i go for basic solutions here oh observe h from amino group comes out with oh as water what is left over now r and negative ion right we very well know the negative ion goes to the anode because anion always goes to the anode electrode cation goes to the cathode anion goes to the anode electrode so this is your uh, property of amino acid formation of zwitterion please note it